Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! It's your beloved host, Shadowblade730. Let's see if we can make our way to that Mamma machine and stop Queen Zeal from really trying to exploit Lavos' evil power. First, let's try to take care of these monsters. These are scouts. Now, notice how they're yellow color. Uh, of course, yellow colored scouts are weak to lightning. Red scouts are weak to fire. And blue scouts are weak to water slash ice. There we go. Now, they have about 300 HP apiece. Now, the trick is um, with this setup here. Oh, learn ice water? Nah, never use it. Um, I have a uh, frog equipped with the pearl um, sword. Uh, rune blade, not worth it. Um, that sword does, it deals 1.5 um, times damage to magical enemies, which I think almost every enemy in this level is a uh, magical type, so it could deal a lot of damage, especially with that aerial or that uh, leap slash or aerial leap ability of frogs. It should almost one shot any of these um, scout type enemies. So that's pretty good. I mean, you could bring um, your three elemental, be like Chrono, Luca, and either Frog or Marley, but eh, here we get Aeon Suit. Never use it. See how these have a red tent? There we do fire. Have a little bit of better way to take care of these uh, fellas. Also have Chrono equipped with the gold stud, cutting his um, MP cost by two thirds. It's really, really good. Because he's going to be using a lot of lightning to spin cut. A lot of things that deal a lot of damage, but require a lot of MP use. See that about 300 HP? Let's see how much damage. Uh, 238 is better than nothing. And like I said, if I had Luke in my party, I'd just have her use fire to kill the whole bunch of them. But I'm not. Because right now, I really want to have Marley learn another tech. Um, her Ice 2 tech. Because later on, that's going to work really, really good. When I have her and um, Luca in the party, they'll learn Antipod 2, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ew. But once I learn Ice 2, I'll probably take her out for Luca. Because that way I have all three of my elements. And really, I don't think there's any other text I'm really wanting to learn for Marley. Not for a while, because I, mean, I think the only thing else she gets is... Not that, oh, I forgot what her next tech is, but it's not that great. I know Frog is working on Water 2, which is really, really good. So head up here. And unfortunately, Chrono needs about 500 tech points to learn his last ability, Luminaire, which is really, 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 really good. Here we have two new enemies. You have a Jen and a Bargeist. Now the trick with these fools is you want to take out the Bargeist first, I believe it is. The gray monster on the right. And you want to have your weaker attacker attack the Jen, which is going to pop the shield. Because with the Bargeist up, the Jen will keep a shield that doesn't take any damage. But to actually deactivate the shield once the Bargeist is dead, you actually have to deal like a little bit of damage just to knock it out. Hooray! But we got some tech points, a Lapis, which is really good. Use as an item, heals 200 HP to the party. More importantly, with this little blue icon up, we activated another um, doorway. And we're going to be using that pretty quickly. Ooh, here we have another really annoying monster in the middle there, between the two scouts. I forgot what it's actually called. Yeah, it's actually just called a mage. As most things, it is a magic type enemy. Now, the trick with the mages, though, is um, they do have an ability that will lock your techs. So you only be able to use like physical attacks and items and such. Uh, but unlike, say, the rebels, it doesn't affect your entire party. It doesn't all use it in the beginning of a fight. But still, it is kind of annoying. Let's see if we get these two scouts out of the way. Let's just take care of you. Let's use Leap Slash with the Pearl Edge. Schmack. So we get a little healing on with Marley. Put some kind of use to Marley. Really, another reason I'm probably putting Marley in right now is um, there's an upcoming level where I'm probably going to use her. I'm not sure yet. Though. It's one of the few levels I definitely don't want Frog in, though. That's the thing. 
Let's see what's in this chest right here. Come on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, an Aeon Helm. Not nearly as good as my uh, Rainbow Helms, but it's there. Let's head this way. So we want to go down there just yet. We'll go down here, up here. Okay, see so we have Blue Scouters, which as you thought they are weak to water or slash ice. In this game, water and ice are the same element as is light and lightning. Water should take you out that one. Yep, 308, that should take you out. And I should do the trick here. Very nice. Now we gotta do worry about this one. Uh yeah, let's just hit with a confused. I mean it's only three MP a shot, right? With the um gold stud. That's really nice. Oh, didn't kill it. Frogs we had to kill it. Oh, especially with the crit. Hooray! Got him! Ooh, 24 tech points. Yeah, Monster did give a pretty good amount of tech points. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't think I'll be able to get Luminaire. Uh, let's see, let's head up to the top area of this area first. Ooh, another little switch. Okay, activate the switch. Another Bargeist and Gen fight, just like last time. Defeat the Bargeist. Hit the Gen, then hit the Gen with a low power attack from Marley or whoever, and then finish it off with whatever character you have left. Shoot him with spin cut. Should kill him. Smack. Yep. Bye, Bargeist. Marley. Yep. Bust the shield. Frog. Finish the job, buddy. Smack. Dead Jen. Guess you won't be granting any more wishes, will you, Jen? <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Uh, a little bit of a uh, technical error. But now, so with that, we have the demons hit. 
instead of doing 1.5 damage to magical enemy enemies, it deals twice damage to magical enemies. It is really good for this area. All right, let's head over here. Once again, I want to apologize. Just a little bit of a technical difficulty we're having, but I'm back. <laughs> All right. We have a red and a blue scale with a mage. See if we can knock that mage out before he locks anybody out. Oh, it's gonna try and lock. Okay, he missed. All right. Smack. There can be only one. Let's see what our new demon hit can do. Wow, 344. One shotting with the aerial like attack. Very, very nice, bro. Hopefully we can get Ice 2 up, because I really want to get Marley out of there. She's just... She gets a little useful later on, but she's... Like I, oh, like everyone says, she's really is the weakest of the bunch. But she's got a good storyline to her, but let's go encounter... Create this little encounter here, get some more attack points. Never have enough attack points, especially when I'm really hoping I can learn Luminary before the next boss fight. That ability is really, 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 really really good. Oh, and he locked on. Now, unfortunately, if he locks you while you're waiting to use your next technique or ability, you won't be able to use it. Now, if you're just using physical attack, it'll bypass it. Just a little bit of an annoyance. Now, I don't think he's going to lock out anymore. We should be able to take him before he tries that crap again. Especially a frog smacks him with a demon hit. There we go. Got him. Hooray. Oh, and I get a lot of Lapuses here, but they could come in really handy. I mean, this is an item for anybody to use. Heals up 200 HP. That's really good. Here we have a Sonic Arrow. Uh, upgraded weapon for Marley there. That's really why they want to give me more weapons for Marley and Luca, because you're going to find some really good stuff here. And let's be honest. If you're using Marley or Luca, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be attacking with them that often. But let's just upgrade their weapons. Why not? I mean, these weapons are actually pretty good because they have a status effect hit, um, triggered in with them. Let's hit this. Activate our doorway. All right. Let's see what's over here. I don't see any treasure. What do we have here? Another red and a blue scouter with another mage. Same way as always. Well, we were misky there. I want a colonel to actually attack the mage, but ew. It takes care of you. Let's have Marley use her ice spell. Should take care of you. Very nice. And let's focus on that mage. Oh, use his physical attack. Alright. Marley might need a little bit of healing. Ooh, good shot, Chrono. Very good shot. Uh, 24 tech points. Lapis, for all game level. And Marley learned Ice 2. And we learned Ice Sword 2 and Arc Impulse. Not terrible. But now that we've learned our Ice 2 tech, let's pull Marley's blonde haired butt out of there and bring in the Glassware and Luca. Who I think is a much better addition. Now, eventually, I will want to bring in Luca and Ayla in the party because they can learn a particular tech that I want to use. Alright. More of the same, more of the same. I apologize, viewers. This area has a lot of repeat monster encounters, so it is what it is. Now, if you really wanted to, what you could hear, do here if you had Ayla is we could use Ayla and Chrono. Since everyone's in line, use their falcon hit, take all three of them out, yeah, put in the work. Just hopefully they get it off before the mage would have a chance to lock one of them out. Okay, you gonna lock somebody out? Um, okay, missed, very good, very good. Yep. 256, yep, got him. Hooray, good job, Luca. Would you blast him? And we learned another dual tech that I'll probably never use. But hey, there's a chest up there. I wonder what's inside it. And here we get the Kaiser Arm. Upgraded piece of uh, weapon for Robo there. Doesn't add anything, just 
more damage. Can't go wrong there, though. I'm gonna be using Robo for a little bit, so let's just put him on the side. Yeah, I use I tend to use Robo a little bit too much for my taste sometimes. Okay, we just have the two blue scouters. This is why I kind of wish Marley was there, because I could just use water and ice and be done with it. Sit one with water. And uh, let's just hit the other one with Confuse and be done with it. I mean, heck, it's only 3 MP. Round and round, Chrono goes where he stops, nobody knows. Well, almost killed him. I think this will be enough to, to take care of him. Hooray! Got him. 16 tech points. Ooh, Frog Learn, Water 2. And we learned Delta Storm. Very nice. Delta Storm, I think that's uh, Fire, Water, and um, Lightning Tech. Triple Tech. Um, I mean, that's a pretty good damage. My only problem I ever had with Triple Techs is you're requiring three characters' turns to deal your damage. Now, you will deal some really good damage. But that's still three characters you have to wait for and make sh and the they're using all their turns for that one big shot. So you better make it work. Here we have a new enemy, Thrashers. Thrashers have a pretty nasty um, counterattack. Let's get these fools out of here. But I do think they are... Um, magic enemies, magic type enemies, so we should be able to do some pretty good damage with Frog if we need to. You want to and try to one-shot them, that way they don't have a chance to use their counter attack. Especially if you encounter them in rather large groups. It can be really annoying. Up 24 attack points, very nice. Let's see what's in this doorway here. See, there's a doorway and a stairwell. Okay. I don't see anything here, so... Uh... Yes. Let's go stairs down the stairs. Whatever could be down here. Well, that's an ominous looking statue. I don't like it. Wow. It shot fireballs that became monsters. Here we have two mages and... Are those? Yep, yeah, those are thrashers. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what not to do. If you use a multi-targeting spell like Lightning 2 that doesn't kill all the Thrashers, you're going to trigger multiple counterattacks. Why didn't it counterattack? Wow. Oh, that was horrible. Let's try and get rid of these mages first. I hate it when Luka gets locked out because that's really all Luka can do. Yep, here's our counterattack. This will do a lot of damage, but it's more annoying than anything. Is it a bit of good old lightning too? What a shocking development there. Okay, the take care of one, and Frog should be able to take care of the last one. 375, hooray, got him. Ooh, good XP. Now, I do want to try and keep below, right about, below level 40. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Now, let's see how they jump up and go down. I kind of do want to trigger these because... Should I get this fight or not? Man. I mean, the tech points would be pretty good. And I could use them. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Slurp or heal. Let's just use some heals. There we go. We use a mid ether. Mid ether. Yep. Got a couple of them. So he's using both on frog and one on chrono. Should be good. Now watch this big foul up I've got right here. Once again, viewers, learn from my mistakes. I'm going to show you exactly what not to do. Sit them all with fire too. Let's get multiple counterattacks.
Yep. Double counterattack. Ain't that just nice. So instead, let's just bust out the leap slashes and the um, confuses. Up and down. Hooray. Stay away from Luca because really all she has right now is Fire 2 and Napalm, and I really don't want to risk the counterattack. Even though it's not that damaging. Okay, all we have is two left. Hit him with a Leap Slash. There we go. And we just. And now, see, now that there's only one left, they can't counterattack. So we just go all out. Wong, 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 Slash. It's a really good damage. 341 apiece. That's really good. 32 tech points, too. That's really good. Let's head down here. Now, I will say I do prefer the plates. Um, I want to avoid these. I really don't want to fight them. Yeah, I'd really do a, uh, rather the plates for pure D magic absorption rather than the Aeonian suits and all the other equipment I have because as you notice there's not many physical attackers here a lot of them really rely on, on uh, magic here we have some thrashers and I believe those are called monks if I'm not mistaken so thrashers and um, lashers really confuse really. Yep, they are magical types, too. We should take care of this individual. It's not going to use Luca because I don't want to trigger a counterattack. That's another thing. If you're able to actually one-shot the enemy, there's no chance for a counterattack, so that's usually your, be usually your best bet. Just get your one-shot in, avoid the counterattack, get rid of them. And really between the Demon Hit and Leap Slash and Karno's um, Confuse, you should be able to take care of any of these. Good frog in the level, so did Luca. Hooray! Come on. Let's see if we can head down these stairs. Hey, is it Massa or Mooney? Oh. The Red Knight you're talking about? Yeah, I pretty much have that intent, you know, I mean... She's starting to sound kind of psychotic, so I think we really need to stop Queen, um, Queen Zeal. Eternal life? Come on, now. Dark Force? No, 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 no. I've already defeated him in another game. Now I don't want to fight him again. Yes, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Immortality? I mean, if you want immortality, just go find the seven Dragon Balls. Just wish for it. I mean, it's a lot easier than trying to manipulate the energies of an um, extraterrestrial um, beast, creature, entity, Eldritch Horror. Yeah, all of those kind of describe Lavos. So, I mean, a lot easier. I mean, you've got the technology. you got the magic. Make a Dragon Radar. Find the seven Dragon Balls. Make your wish be on your way. You know, no need to awaken Lavos and destroy the planet. Although if you use the... Oh, let's get... Yeah, let's get Alien in there, because I want to see if we can learn another tank. But like I said, um, better that than awaken Lavos and risk destruction of the planet. Although if you use the Dragon Balls too many times in GT, we saw what happened there. But that's a different franchise. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Alright, another bar guy, in Jin. I wonder if bar guys just means a ghost that goes to a lot of bars. Alcoholic ghost. A bar guys. Makes sense, I guess. Alright, just have Luca shoot him, drops the shield, and we're just gonna have Ayla attack. Do a good amount of damage. Hooray! There we go. And I didn't learn a new tech. Ha! Huh. That's weird. That's guitar safe one. But can we stop Queen Zeal from um, utilizing the power of the Mammoth Machine and awakening Lavos and destroy the world? Will we be able to save Shala? And who is that prophet? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. If you like my content, 
please like, subscribe, drop a comment or two, and see you all next adventure.